Ryan, Jane, thank you all so much for coming out. I've been doing magic for 27 years. I'm actually 85, this is my best I can sell you potions after the show. If you too would like to look like a Kirkland brand Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Look, I'm nothing like the name brand, okay? But with a club card. You can get this in bulk. There will be audience participation in this show, most of it involuntary. You, my friend, what is your name? Sorry? Tyler, not just yet, but eventually. Do you mind coming up on stage and helping out? Awesome. I just want to make sure I get consent. Theater without consent. It's called immersive. Uh, Tyler, your job starts off very simply. All you have to do, my man, is shuffle some cards. I will even give you a choice. You can choose to shuffle this pack of cards or that pack of cards. It's entirely up to you. And if you don't like those two, you can choose between our third party candidates as well. All you have to do, Tyler, is take the cards out of the box and give them a good shuffle. Don't try to shuffle them inside the box. It's really hard to do. Just take them out. You can do a overhand shuffle, underhand shuffle, whatever you're most comfortable with. Just don't lose the box for me, Tyler. That's all I'm going to ask, all right? Uh, I know, it's amazing. It's like discovering a dress has pockets. It's my blood, right? Tyler, this is your elected period, man. Why am I giving you extra responsibility? I'll tell you what, we will get rid of the box entirely just for you. How's that sound? I love your enthusiasm, Tyler. It's going to be fantastic. Tyler, I'm going to give you the card, shuffle them up. We'll come back to you in just a few seconds. I have toys for some of the rest of you as well. Pick a color, any color. Green, like mine. Pick a color, any color. Blue, like my eyes. Pick a color, any color. Orange, like the one that's left. <laughs> the term magician has meant many things over the years, everything from charmer to mystic to healer to clown to explorer. There was a time where magicians were known for voyaging off to some corners of the globe and bringing back all sorts of exotic trinkets and rituals and beasts and mysteries and experiences to share with the lay public such as ourselves. <laughs> Indeed, when you walked in here, you saw the posters of many of these performers and their shows. Uh, if you are all familiar with my work, you will know that I spent half of last year at sea, uh, voyaging not only outwards, but voyaging within. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag therapy. <laughs> Um, so, and while our time is limited tonight because I do have laundry in outside, uh, over the next 30 minutes, uh, I'll be sharing with you some of the various trinkets, rituals, beasts, mysteries, and experiences that I've picked up along my travels, and we will end with my most recent find. Are you ready to go on this journey? Yeah! Cards all show up, they're all different, yes? Awesome. I'm going to look away as I go for the card, say stop anywhere I'd like. See that card? Happy with that card, or you want to keep going? Fantastic. Remember the card, Tyler? Don't forget it. If you forget the card, this becomes stupid. <laughs> Tyler, your, your journey is now. Head on up here with the audience. We'll applaud you. Let's go for Tyler! <laughs> Tyler, our journey begins in New York City, which is where I typically reside. In New York, I studied with the pickpockets of New York. Uh, these, are, these are men, women, and multi-identifying people who are obsessed with trinkets. They wouldn't look at you, Tyler, and see a human, they'd see a mark, somebody to steal things from. Uh, I'm not gonna steal your things, okay? That violates your privacy, violates my parole. Instead, <laughs> Instead, I'm going to give you three things that I carry with me everywhere I go, and then I'm going to steal them back one at a time. Sound cool? Awesome. All I need is this outside jacket. Oh, this, this is a real pocket? Yeah, okay. This outside jacket pocket empty, and that outside jacket pocket empty. If you have anything moving to other pockets, I will stand in front of you. I once did this for a guy who I had lied to his wife that he gave up smoking a month prior, but he said cigarettes on him. So I have learned to stand in front of my participants in case Tyler is also hiding things from his significant others. Uh, I see no animosity, so I assume we're in the clear. Empty, empty? Awesome. 
Tyler, the first thing I'm going to give you is my wallet. My wallet goes in your right jacket pocket. Take my wallet, place in your right jacket pocket. Thank you so much. The next thing I'm going to give you is my ring. My ring goes between your hands. Take my ring, place between your hands. You get the ring, Tyler. You do not get the wife, okay? And the last thing, the last thing I'm going to give you are the cards. Because you cannot become a magician if you leave your playing cards at home. When I was aboard Virgin Voyages, my role I, is, was called the Charmer. That was my name. Uh, and in order to become the charmer, you must have spent an entire, you must have spent most of your life as not one. <laughs> all the cards are going to go in this pocket right here, all right? All this, ooh, these are deep pockets, dude. Deep invisible pockets. Um, brand new? Brand new. Sleep, man. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, I'm going to do a quick warm up. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do a quick warm up. Uh, I'm going to steal not just the Jokers, or not all the cards, but just the Jokers from inside the deck. Just the Jokers from inside the deck, from inside the deck. Just the Jokers from inside the deck. From inside the deck. No, look. I'm going to steal the rest of the cards out of his left pocket, my wallet out of his right pocket, my ring from between his hands, and by the end of that, even this man will unfold his arms and enjoy the show. <laughs> Tyler, are you right handed or left handed? Place the ring in your right palm like so, and hold your palm out towards me. Beautiful. Feet towards me, my man. Take one baby step backwards. Okay, one normal step backwards. Perfect. There we go. Actually, one more baby step. Perfect. Center stage. Tyler, I'm going to try to steal the ring from your hand, okay? Now that was easy, so we're going to make this a little bit more difficult. Uh, I'm not going to start here. Uh, I'm going to start way up here, okay? I'm a mile away. As soon as I move this hand to try to grab the ring, you beat me through it. Just close your hand around it, all right? You ready? We'll do a test. You go faster. Awesome. Perfect. You are spry like grasshopper. Folks, <laughs> this isn't a trick, okay? This isn't, um, this isn't semantics. I'm not going to grab the other hand. The ring's not going to disappear. This is a real pickpocketing technique people use to snatch things right out of your purse. Poker chips from right off the table beneath your nose. Ready, buddy? Awesome. Flat hand. Hey, Tyler. This is the whole show. Uh, I'm gonna help you out, okay? Don't watch my eyes, watch my hand, okay? I know, I love that you're not afraid of intimacy, but this is gonna give you the best chance to do it, okay? Flat hand, flat hand, flat hand. Uh, as soon as I move, try to grab the ring, I'm still the ring, then I'm still the wallet. It's very nice of me to tell you my exact plan of attack. Let's play five over here. I'm still the ring, shoulder is gone. The crowd goes wild. I steal the ring and I steal the wallet. Without him feeling. Look, some of the tricks are going to be better than others, okay? Be honest, did you feel me take the wallet? No? Bless you, my man. Be honest for their sake right now, okay? Be honest. Did you film me with the wallet back? So this is, this is what master pickpockets do, yeah? They take your wallet out, they keep the cash, but they stick the wallet back in your pocket so you still fill it. Reach inside, pull out the wallet, show them it's back, is it by magic? Yeah, that's normally where their applause happens, but I know you guys are already stopping silence. Except for this man, I get the feeling you're the tough person who likes things on Facebook but never comments, right? You're very much on the inside. International man of history. He's just, you're expressing one thing to them, but he's just smiling like an idiot. Uh, and pull up the cards for me too, buddy. Pull up the cards. The cards. No, the rest of them. Yeah, see, I stole those two while he was busy. Tyler, Tyler, I've had my hands in your pockets plenty. <laughs> Uh, but I want you to, I want this to end with you being the star, because I can't do what I do without people like you consenting and being brave and coming up and helping out and taking a risk. So I want to make sure that you all you get the applause that you deserve here, all right? You're thinking of a card from earlier, yeah? You haven't forgotten it? With your left hand, reach in my outer right jacket pocket, you should fill one playing card, yeah? For the first time, tell the audience what's the card that you were merely thinking of. Show them.
You are not coming up on stage to stand up at your seat. You are not coming up on stage to stand up at your seat. Let's go. You're not coming up. You're not coming up on stage to stand up at your seat. Let's go. Miss right there. You're not. You're not standing up to stand up at your seat. Okay. In a moment, I'm gonna have each of you cut off some cards and lay it against your body, okay? Eventually, you'll take a peek at the card. Don't look immediately. I don't want you thinking I'm peeking or I have confederates peeking. Uh, I'm sure you trust each other in real life. The loyalty can be bought. Um, <laughs> cut hold against your body, and then you'll take a peek later on. Understood? Yes, awesome. Uh, cut hold against your body, don't let anybody else see. Don't take it out, cut the whole block off, or just take it out and go. Do whatever you want. Uh, don't look, just, uh, there we go, hold. Oh, there we go. Cut, hold against your body, don't let anybody else see. Fantastic, cut, hold against your body, don't let anybody else see. Yeah, I know there's not that many left. You got it? You, you can take the, take the, yeah, take the one, alright? Here we go, here we go, here we go. And cut, hold against your body, don't let anybody else see. Fantastic. I'm gonna look right at the floor. Whatever cards you guys cut, so you take a quick little peek, don't let anybody else see. Got it? Hide the cards. Drop them all back, sir. Drop them all back. Drop them all back. Drop them all back right here. Fantastic. Drop them back. E, drop it on back, remain standing, remain standing, cards go in the pocket, I will never look. Hopefully the four of you kept your cards secret so you know I don't have confederates helping me out. The cards were shuffled, I couldn't estimate where they are, and even if the cards were marked, which they're not, I mean, if they were, because you cut the cards, the backs of your cards were never even exposed. I didn't even look at my hands to any of that hands. If I could name these four cards, that'd be something, yeah? It'd be something else entirely. <laughs> if I didn't have to. Yes, I have a question. Are you ready to get weird, Chicago Magic Lounge? Yeah. 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 We're gonna form a human chain right now, connecting all of you, holding hands. Hands together, hands on shoulders if you're not comfortable with that. Connecting everyone here. Make a giant circle that goes around here. Let's make a loop down here. Go across there, go across there, go across there, up to there. Down across, however you guys can get over here, all right? Guys, this is not the weirdest thing that's happened in the back of a laundromat, okay? <laughs> Fun fact, everything on this street is a front, if you didn't know that. Uh, so Jimmy John's, secretly a male review. Nail salon across the street, definitely a front for the mob. Yeah. I'm kidding, it's Chicago. No, you don't even need them. Like, we're, we're, we're past that, right? Connected all the way through? Oh, you gotta connect there, yeah. Perfect, awesome. Yep, 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 yep. All those jokes weren't for you, it's still time, alright? Yep, there we go, awesome. Alright, look, if you're thinking of a card, Picture your card, but don't react, okay? Don't say anything, don't react whatsoever. Just picture your card, that's what you contribute to the ritual. The rest of you guys in the chain, trust your instincts, do not overthink this. Don't react, don't react, don't react, don't react. The rest of you guys, a playing card is gonna pop at your head right now. Grab that card, do not change your mind. Don't react, don't react, don't react, don't react. <laughs> A card popped in your head, yes? Sorry? Ace of spades. A card popped in your head? Three of diamonds. A card popped in your head? Two of hearts. Six of hearts. Two of hearts. Ace of spades. Three of diamonds. Yes or no? Did they name your card? Yes or no? Did they name your card? Did they name your card? Did they name your card? This is hard. <laughs> Queen of Hearts, Jack of Clubs. Yes or no, did I name your card? Yes or no? Yes or no? Have a seat. Yes or no, did I name your card? Have a seat. Yes or no, did I name your card? Have a seat. Yes or no, did I name your card? Have a seat. You may continue to hold hands if you wish. 
but it is no longer compulsory. <laughs> when people uh, find out that you've been on a cruise ship for six months, um, they want to hear what is your craziest experience. And they're expecting crazy stories like six-figure bar tabs or marooning people in Bermuda or invites to threesomes. Um, all of that happened. Uh, all of that happened. Uh, but the craziest experience, you guys remember the craziest experience that happened when I was a Yes. It didn't happen on land. It happened on the very ship. Um, I was connecting with a couple of passengers, uh, an elderly couple. This woman reminded me very much of like my, my grandmother, very similar eyes, very similar fashion sense. I met her on my grandmother's birthday, which I only know because she just recently passed. My grandmother, not the passenger. Uh, uh, we kept talking, she brought up the fact that she's a huge Scrabble player, my grandma was also a huge Scrabble player. I still think of like spelling certain words with like Scrabble tiles, like that's how I think of them. Uh, I think of dominoes and math in the same way, like I'm really good at multiples of five, but that's about it. Uh, we, we, keep, we kept talking, she brought, I was like, hey, they have like this whole game room on the ship, have you been there? She's like, no, I was like, all right, come with me. So I led her to the game room, which is normally like super neat and tidy. But I walk in, and on one of the tables, there was this abandoned game of Scrabble waiting for us. And in the middle of it, there was a, a tile rack that had five letters on it. V E R D A. Verda. Which is my grandmother's name. Now, some people will look at that and say that that's a sign or communication or fate or something. Personally, I believe that all coincidences are meaningless. <laughs> but. But that doesn't mean that we cannot or we should not appreciate them when we encounter them. Because I was there in that moment to connect all of my life history, everything that makes me, me, with this incredible serendipitous coincidence that the universe had dealt me to concoct in my mind a moment of magic. Yeah that maybe one day I'll be able to bottle up this shit. But as much as it pains me to admit, most of the magic you are going to experience, you're not going to see on stage as like it is. It's going to happen in your own lives. I won't be there with you. I want each of you to recall an incredible experience from your own life. Something stupendous, something that will stick with you for the rest of your And if you can, I want you to distill that memory down, that experience down into a single word. Three, four, five, six, seven letters of Scrabble. It can be a name, it can be a place, a relationship, a meal. Without saying the word, then we have a Wait, wait in the back where I can't see people. <laughs> you got this guy right there? Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Taylor. Taylor. Uh, Taylor, all right, I'm going to come to you. You got a word? I do. Fantastic. Taylor, I have for you um, a Scrabble set. Yes. A clear plastic thing. I'm bring this all the way there. You don't have to go over it just yet, all right? Uh, this is what's going to happen, all right? In a moment, sorry, your name one more time? Taylor. Taylor, awesome. Taylor, in a moment, you are going to uh, open that bag and reach it, and you're going to grab out about as many letters or as in the word that you're thinking of, okay? And then you're going to look at those letters and tell everyone, let us know if you grab out the exact letters of the word that you're thinking of, okay? Because if, that, if that's the case, I want, let us all know. Let me know. Because that would be amazing, okay? <laughs> and I want to be here for that. So Taylor, no pressure. Reach in, open up the bag, reach in. How'd we do? No, that's fine. It never works. It's not supposed to. It's just going to look. This is what's gonna happen, all right? Uh, I'm gonna dump out. Here, we'll do this. Put, put all the tiles there, all right? 
Uh, I'm going to take a bag away from you. Uh, so look, first off, you take a tray back. Uh, let everyone know, all, the tiles are all different, right? They're all different. There's multiple of vowels, right? It's not, there's a million things, right? Taylor, forget the word you initially thought of, okay? I wish you to make a new word, no more than seven letters, on the tile rack facing you so you know I cannot see them, okay? Understood? Yeah. Awesome, go for that. While Taylor does that, I'm going to summon for you all a beast. This is from all way back in magic, magicians have some brought back elephants and, and, and white tigers and Pomeranians and other crazy creatures. <laughs> you all clearly have never met a Pomeranian. Uh, you're going to summon a beast. Uh, you're going to summon a beast from this screen cleaner, okay? How are you doing, Taylor? Almost there. Almost there? You make it on the tile rack, all right, so I can't see it. We're going to summon a beast from this screen cleaner. Uh, there's no beast hidden inside there, right? You can tell, no sticky stuff, no palm rains. No? Because if there were, it'd be yapping incessantly, is how we would know. Uh, not just any beast, I'm going to summon for you all a raptor from the Pacific. A beast summoning ritual for you. Tag me at Ryan K Magic, or if you're trendy, hashtag Ryan K Magic, or if you're old, pound sign Ryan K Magic. Uh, and that is spelled Kane, uh, Kane with a K, like K and E, like Citizen Kane, or not Citizen Kane. It is none of my business. Uh, the tiles that you've been playing with, Tyler, are the tiles from the Grandma game. These tiles are from Target. There's roughly tiles all over the floor. Don't bother about picking them up, just don't slip on your way out, alright? Sorry, Taylor, do you have a word? Yeah. Awesome. I'll remind you, coincidences are meaningless without us. Is there an E in your word? No. Good. No. <laughs> hey. How many letters? All right, the word that you made right there? Five. How many letters are in my hand? Five. Do me a favor, take the entire class, play a trade, bring that all up. The audience is going to go applaud for you. Come on, bring the whole thing up. The whole thing up. The whole thing up. <laughs> there are no blank tiles in either of our sets, right? Can I have this right there? Tell everyone what is the word that you made? Waste. Waste? And that is spelled like somebody's waste, not, uh, not like waste. Yeah. The planet, right? You can see all the tiles are different. You see waste right there. Turn over that first tile. What is that word? No! Today? 16. Awesome. So look, 
This will be our selfie. This will be me. You can recognize me by my top hat and my endomorphic body. <laughs> you guys got endomorphic, but not octogenarian. Okay. <laughs> um, Sharpie's back there, right? Yeah, what's your name? Chikane. Chikane. Do me a favor, take the, uh, take the selfie. I need you to draw the entire audience on there for me, okay? I'm just gonna you destroy yourself, all right? Anywhere you like, anywhere you like. Uh, what's your name? Richard. Richard, can you stand up? Face the audience for me. This is our planet. We're also gonna tag our selfie, but I don't just want to use Chicago because uh, that's too, too easy, too predictable. Uh, this is our planet, or if you're a flat earther, this is our planet. Uh, Richard, take a glow, put it behind your back. Uh, take a pen. I want you to just draw a small X somewhere on the globe behind your back so not even you know where you're drawing, all right? You have four cocktails? Don't worry, it'll be great. It's just an X, it's literally two lines. You good? Awesome, I'll take the Sharpie back, careful, don't mark your beautiful jacket. And uh, go ahead and bring, you can bring the globe back out. And between the two of you, you can have a seat, find the X on there, make like pirates, okay? You got, the, you got the drawing? Beautiful, I'll take the Sharpie back as well. Lovely image, lovely image. Where's the second one? Second Sharpie? What's your name? Sharon? Your job? Shannon? Awesome. Your, draw a selfie of yourself in there as well, all right? Do you have a title for your masterpiece, buddy? He's like, he's looking at his phone. He's like, I'm going to take a real selfie right now. I wasn't, the filter that Ryan uses, I'm not about, you know, it's not, not the best thing. Do you have a title for your masterpiece? Selfie? Fantastic. Let's go for like document one. Uh, and what's your name? Leah, can you stand up for me? Yeah, uh, everyone else drew uh, stick figures. You can draw a stick symbol if you wish. Uh, I asked one guy to draw himself, and he drew a dollar sign. <laughs> and then he stole my Sharpie. <laughs> That's why I collect them now. <laughs> I've learned my lesson, all right? Uh, Leah, I'll take the, uh, that back. Can you stand up? Show everyone the selfie for me. Show everyone the selfie. <laughs> Try your best to for you. I'm going to give you the scissors, have a seat, we'll come back in just a few moments. Folks, these are, oh, she threw a star, lovely, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, folks, these are the people that make up our show here today. Try your best to memorize them, try your best to see not the marks, but see the people that make this up. Memorize this image, folks, because we all are about to go on one final journey. We're about to go. Check. You got the scissors? Fantastic. You're about to use the scissors like a magic wand, okay? Have you ever used a magic wand? Perfect. Hold the scissors up high. Lovely. Here we go. I know. He was speaking fluently earlier. Never mind as much. He can't even form words. It's incredible. So as I said, we would end tonight with my most recent fun.
There's one final trinket I would like to share with you guys here today. Um, this is a compass. Uh, Richard, do you mind standing out for me? You got the globe, right? Awesome. Can you stand? Do you mind coming up right here? Um, where did we end up today, by the way? You know the exact state, the country, city uh, that's there? I was trying to verify that was a real spot. That that's a real spot? <laughs> that's a real spot. You, you looked like on Google Maps where it is? Dude, you went above and beyond gold star, man. <laughs> Brazil, Brazil. All right, here we go. Um, uh, this is a compass. You can see it's engraved on the front with a star symbol. But it's what's on the inside that I think is most interesting because compasses are invented for us to explore our planet and explore uh, our world and explore our experiences together. We've had some experiences here tonight. Taylor, you created for us uh, our wonderful word, the wake waste, right? But that's not the word that defined the experience, the mind-blowing experience you had earlier, right? For the first time, tell the audience, what is the word that you were just thinking of? God. Is there something inscribed inside this compass? Can you nice and loud read out, Richard? What does that say right there? <laughs> Right here, right here. Can you hold on to the end of that? Fantastic. Pull that out for everyone to see. <laughs>